Hey guys, what's going on? So I know it's been about three months since my last video, so I finally got some time off and I decided to bring you guys one. So today, I have this little character here I created in like, I don't know, one hour from Imagination. And I named him, I named him Fred. I'm not quite sure why. So today I want to show you guys, because my last intro to animation video wasn't very good, I wanted to recreate one and show you guys hopefully uh, a better introduction to animation. Now before I start, I want to say thank you to my 167 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Like when I first started this channel, I didn't think I'd have that many and you guys showed me quite a bit. So he's already rigged uh, and whatnot. So I'm just going to continue with that. If you guys want a rigging video about how I did that, just drop something in the comments and I'll be happy to make a rigging video when I have some more time. But today I just want to create a quick uh, intro to animation. So say you have a character here, you know, somebody just rigged it up for you and you're the animator. You don't know how to use the tools in Blender yet. Well, here's the basics. And when I say basic, I mean basic. Now, first of all, I just want to try to see if I can grab my, there it is. Okay. So today, sorry, it's uh, technical difficulties. Um, so how do you animate? Well, basically you select a bone or any rig, uh, anything, any part of the rig that controls something. So right here I have this head control and it controls the entire top of the body, as you can see. So what you would do is to actually animate this is you'd go down to the timeline. And this timeline allows you to see different points in time, right? It's a timeline. So starting from frame one, we're going to select everything and it's messed up first of all we're going to select this now select the whole rig and you're going to just hit I insert whole character and that's going to just be the basics of everything same with this insert uh, just location rotation that's all we need for that same with this this is everything so that's frame one so we're going to do that until frame 10. Everything's going to be exactly the same. All right, and when we get to frame, let's say 30. And by the way, I am, this is at a 24 frames per second. Actually, I want to change that to 30. Um, so we're doing this at 30 frames per second. That's the animation rate. And for those of you who don't know, this is actually very important when animating. That means that every 30 frames, so from 0 to 30 here, that is one second of footage. And at 250 frames, that's, uh, I think, close to 10 seconds of footage. But we're not going up to 250. So let's just go, uh, let's just go with 3 seconds of footage, which is 90 seconds. Bump that up to 120, 4 seconds. Uh, so... To animate, what you do is you go to, you, this is keyframe animation by the way, this, I think there's several different types of animation. This is keyframe. What you would do is you would select something, whatever you need to move, or to make so the character do something. And let's say we rotate this, so he's looking this way. You can insert a location rotation. And let's just rotate this a bit. right about there and if we insert location rotation there now I just want to quickly show you guys what it looks like he moves pretty cool so we're on frame 30 and that's what he does so far let's get him to do a little bit more let's just rotate our view if you want to constrain the rotation to a certain axis um, always try to do local is what I will, I'll do and what that allows you to do is just rotate it so it's not global which is if we go to the top view this red line is global but because this torso is twisted and the arms connected to the torso you would want local rotation so you just double tap a button so like for example uh, say you want to let's grab this guy here rotate this and look local Y so if you click it and click Y it's global. Click Y again, and it's local. 
And let's actually do that on the X axis. Local X. And insert for these two. Location rotation. Now let's check out what that looks like. You can see he kind of just rotates. Um, something to keep in mind, and this is something that an actual animator taught me, is when you're animating don't be afraid to actually get up and you know move around like okay say you're trying to animate somebody pitching a ball um, get up and try to actually mimic the movement and you'll actually see what it's like you know what parts of your body are moving right is is your legs are your, are your legs moving with your torso um, are your feet not moving at all are your eyes doing something I don't know well, eyes I, it's per person thing but in general like say if you're throwing something, your whole arm is moving as well as your torso, your neck and everything. It's all a ripple effect and your hips are twisting as well. Now I'm not going to show you that because you know you can just look up videos on that as well. If you want to see uh, the biomechanics of it all, feel free to. I encourage that. Um, but yes, two. So, uh, so far we have is just moving bones around and that's how you see animating so far. Yeah, you can probably move the eyes with this. Let's do that. Let's keep the eyes moving forward there. Now, um, one more thing I want to show you guys just as an introduction is shape keys. Let me try to collapse some of that. Now, what are shape keys? Well, this is interesting stuff. This allows you to, well this is great for um, mouth animations, which I will show you right about now, or even eyes, you know. So let's just go back to frame 10, and I created this O, that's, that's what I call it, um, and that's basically just the character opening his mouth to make it look like he's saying O. And at frame 30. And all you have to do for animating these are um, after they're created, which you know it doesn't take too long to create them, um, going down to the value setting and just hitting your I key. That's it. I believe you can also insert keyframes by right clicking, and then you have insert keyframe if you were more of a button type. Uh, so I'll show you what that quickly looks like. Hit Alt A. You can see that his mouth opens, and let's just go to here. And I also have the blinks. Now let's. I have these set also to a negative, so you can even go to negative keyframes. And go frame 30. Or negative shape keys, not keyframes, sorry. And this is actually running a lot lower than 30 frames a second, so that's what it looks like right now. Um, to give you a better view of what everything looks like, I'm just going to hide this armature. Go to the camera viewpoint. And you know, that's basically your animation so far. Now, what I want you guys to learn from this is not exactly me just rambling about like, you know, this is how you do it. This is basically an introduction so you can make your own animation is, you know, go to blend swap or something, find a character if you want to animate and just look at, uh, hopefully they're pre-rigged as well. And basically you just take bones, move around, insert keyframes and you'll get the basic motion of it down. So that's the bare bones, no pun intended, of animating. Now, um, if you want to know more advanced type of stuff, you have this stuff here, which it, this is a dope sheet. Um, it basically breaks down every single action that this character or whatever armature you're uh, posing. It basically breaks down what's moving, right? So you can see here the empty it does only moves certain frames, and the empty is this here for the eyes. And my character Fred, he only moves for a few frames. 
And if you want to get even more in depth, I'm just make that larger. You have this graph editor here, and the graph editor basically it's uh, an interpretation that's graphic, so you can see um, on on a x y graph how the character moves. And this can, I've seen a lot of animators use this to great advantage. Me, I have a difficult time using it, but once you do learn how to use it, it's very powerful. For example, if you just take this and you can switch it and it'll switch how the animation affects. Certain things will appear either faster or slower. It basically switches up how everything moves. Uh, so it, it affects timing, how linear something is. Actually, you can uh, select all. I believe if you go under key, handle type, you can change it or interpolation mode, sorry, and constant so it's all square and alt a and so in, as you can see right there in one frame his expression changes that's what constant does, anyway that's more advanced stuff to deal with all the frames and whatnot uh, it can be used to a great advantage, anyway so yeah like I said that's the bare basics nothing too fancy just something so that anyone could get up and start making animations. So I hope that helped you guys out a bit. Um, once again, thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. I'm hoping to put out more videos soon. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll make a sci-fi video here in a bit for space. That's what I was thinking. Anyway, if you have any any comments, any questions, drop them down in the comments. Uh, throw it in my inbox, you know. Um, any suggestions. Uh, any any complications you have just drop them down any and yeah um thanks for watching guys and happy blending